Okay, I'm gonna try to give you an overview of what I do to clean my sticky veins on a 2007 GMC Duramax. I have a P003A code. First thing I do is take these little plugs, button head plugs, out of the two holes that I drilled in the hot side scroll. I should point out that I also have a finger or a, um, EGR blocked, so none of this product will go back into the engine. Then I take uh, the snap ring out uh, from the uh, actuator, the turbo vane actuator. Then there's a uh, where is it? There's a plug. He's a the same size six six millimeter by one point oh pitch bolt to pull that guy out. Then underneath there is a the plunger. Can't see it. I made this little rod with a uh, catch on the end to kind of jam in there. And once I have that all set up, I go inside the truck and I verify the position of the sensor. It's right about in the middle. So here's my process. First thing I do is I squirt the barbecue cleaner in until it starts coming out the other hole. And I've already done this a couple times, so there it comes. And then I work this rod and it's really stuck. So you're gonna flinch, but I hammer it, I tap it in a little bit because I can't push hard enough to free it up. Then I verify that it's all the way in on the uh, CTS. You can see that 100% mark. Then I go back and I squirt more sauce, more of the barbecue cleaner in. Just want to coat the veins in every possible position they might be in. And I come back to my tool and I pull on it and usually it's too stuck so another flinching moment but I'm gonna like backward hammer this out. come back in and I verify that it's at zero now. Okay, now I've applied more barbecue cleaner. Oh, and now it's beginning to slide in and out somewhat easily. Still pretty tough. I'm just gonna repeat this until it's like butter. And the reason I use the Easy Ot or sorry, uh, Simple Green Barbecue Cleaner, it's, it's non-toxic, and it foams up a whole lot. Some of the other ones didn't foam up as much. This one really expands once it gets in there, so I think it, you know, gets into all the crevices better. I keep working this in and out until it's totally free. I might have to apply more. <sighs> more cleaner. Okay, so this time it wasn't really getting as free as I liked. So I I hooked up the easy off again. And uh and then I was like, what the hey, might as well If it sounded squeaky, so maybe there's some rust in there. I don't know what's going on, but I squirted this in there too. And then just kept working it until now it's finally butter smooth. At least it doesn't take a hammer. That's about it. Put it all back together and go for a, a spirited test drive.